putting together a clinical trial program and developing a drug like this really requires many stakeholders. So for our phase three program, we've worked very closely with key opinion leaders and advisors, the regulators, but also with patients and patient groups. In particular, in our design of our patient reported outcomes tool, we've been very grateful for the interaction with patients. Our patient reported outcomes tool has been tested in children with cholestatic liver diseases and with their parents or you know, caregivers. And that's really an important part of measuring some of our endpoints within the phase three program. So we're very lucky that uh, we've had tremendous support from the patient community. We continue to work with them. Uh, we're very much committed to trying to find the very first pharmacologic treatment for PFIC and other cholestatic liver diseases. Uh, and so you know, with their help, you know, we hope to be able to generate the data to hopefully uh, you know, get an approval for both in the US, Europe, and for the rest of the world. So in, in cholestatic liver diseases, there are some advocacy groups that are in place. There's the Allergial Alliance, uh, which, is, which has, has been in existence for quite some time. It's a very well-run organization. You're very professional uh, and has a good history behind it. Uh, from a PFIC perspective, there is a, a group that has a, a new a website, pfic.org, and you know they've had a, a, a nice resurgence there. And I think we're going to see some really good activity in there. And both groups are pretty active in social media, particularly Facebook. So most of the research uh, for PFIC is in the tertiary centers, and particularly those tertiary centers in the children's hospitals. Uh, and, and so most are treated in, in the major centers here in the United States uh, and around the world. And that's where our these three studies will be. We anticipate somewhere between 35 to 45 sites.